Domestic violence affects women from all walks of life, mothers, wives and daughters. On average, one woman in four will be a victim of domestic violence. So, chief police officers have suggested setting up a register of convicted male offenders and men merely accused by two women or more of violent behaviour to help women avoid these relationships. Our last big question, should there be a domestic violence register? Pat. You believe very much that there should. You think this is another weapon in the armory. Lots of people are saying, but why should it just be men on the register? Why shouldn't violent women be on the register, for example? Um, because the main perpetrators of domestic violence in our society are men. And the main victims are women. Um, I have received this news with delight because I've been campaigning and trying to inform women and children about how abusive men operate, how to spot them, how to avoid them, and how to get over the effects they've had on us and our children for 15 years. When I first started doing this, the idea that anyone would even think about having a register of abusive men was ridiculous. We've come a long way. We, we? we didn't take it seriously. The courts didn't take it seriously. The government didn't. And I think that the fact that this debate is existing means that we are changing, we are learning, and things are improving. But these are men merely accused. They haven't even been convicted of anything. Um, does that harm them? I mean, if I, if I meet a charming man and I go on the internet and find that he has actually accordingly abused two other women, what, what, I just can avoid him, can't I? It, I'm some... not going to go around and burn his house down. But I can what, avoid him. What if you've fallen in love with him? Well, that's the problem, because... Although this register is a step in the right direction, if I fall in love, say, with you, and you were on there, who blame you? and who could blame me? <laughs> yeah. And you were on there, I'd say, Nick, you're on the register, you and you'd say, you'd say yeah, my say, former partner was such a you, horrible woman. I knew I'd say, Pat, so you don't understand, she, yes. was a, she was a nightmare. She was, she made me hit her as well, and I didn't want to. Um, and and you, so, but you would, you would give me short shrift for no, a while. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> No, but you would if you were sensible. But mm. the point is, there is a very, Christina is a very interesting, and I'll come right back to you, but there's an interesting psychological thing here. When you've just met somebody, are you in that psychological place, which means you're going to check them out, because you might be excited by the relationship? Well, I, I think, unfortunately, it's psychologically inconceivable that a woman who's just in the, the first blush of romance is going to go on to the internet. Now, I don't think it's going to be on the internet anyway. I think you would actually have to make an application to the police authority authority to be able to have information about this individual. But not only that, and more importantly, it's actually not going to keep women safe because women are not going to use it. It's looking at things in the wrong way. It's not focusing on the real issues. If the government have got money to spend, then spend it on perpetrator programmes, spend it on counselling support for women and children. Part of an arsenal. I mean, what I want everyone to do really is come on my freedom program, and then they'll understand the issues. But and only 14 and also use the register. Only 14 percent of uh, incidents actually get reported. Christina Rodoni, I mean, you, you you're very happily with a partner now, but you you, you know, as, as many of us, you you went on a quest, didn't you, and to find the right person, and eventually you did. Your current uh, husband, would you have checked him out on a register like this? Never have crossed my mind. But but I think that there is. Because I think that there's a scope for such incredible injustice with something like a register. You know, we talk about paedophile registry, and, and they've been an incredible tool in the arsenal, as you said, um, for, um, for quashing paedophile rings, which are organized crime. And that makes sense. But what we're talking about with domestic violence is one person against another. So it's one person say against another. And so frequently, you can just see how two very angry ex-women, I mean, ex-lovers could say, look, you know, he was very abusive in his verbal behavior. And remember that abuse in this register is also verbal abuse. You know, he was very verbally abusive. Um, he put me down. I felt really quashed by him. And lo and behold, the man is ruined for life. Because let's face it, you're on a register like that. It's like social services. You, know, you, you are never, ever going to be able to be but this is about a, violence, this register. It's yeah, about but violence. It's, but, but we're talking about injustice. I mean, violence is horrible, but so is injustice. And the thought that somebody could be on a register and be blackballed for the rest of his life because exactly. somebody decided that they were going to have a vendetta is, I think, just, is just too dangerous. Oh. 
Oh, well, Margaret, yes, sorry, uh, yeah. Margaret. You um, go. If I can come in, um, what I'd like to say is, do, do the audience realise that um, two women a week are murdered by their partners on average? Now, surely anything that can reduce that has got to be worth doing. <laughs> Ray, you're the for justice, yeah. Yes, I mean, I, it, it's the basis, the statistical basis for all of this which I would really want to question. Um, domestic violence is completely misrepresented. 40% of the victims of domestic violence are men. This proposal for a register doesn't help that 40% of the victim group at all. It is only for female victims. Well, it's 70% when it comes to incidents of convictions so are women. Uh, you're talking about the unreported. I'm talking about the figures from the most reliable source of all, which is the British Crime Survey, published by the Home Office. And year after year, it consistently shows 40% of victims of domestic abuse are men, 60% are women. And where there's such a very large... Yes, it's a minority, but such a very large minority, there is no justification whatsoever for having initiatives that only address the needs of the 60% who happen to be women. Pat, it's you've blatant. Got, you've got to come back on that. Then I'll come to the lady in red, just, just, just behind you. I um, have to say that I don't agree with you, and there's no surprise to anybody watching. Uh, I don't agree with your figures. I don't agree with the statistics. They're not my figures, and they're the Home Office figures. I'll they're also irrefutable. I want to go back to linking what you said, Christina, in, in that... Um, I run the Freedom Programme for women, I've, I've run it for thousands of women who have come on our Freedom Programme. Most of them have been too ashamed and too afraid to tell anyone that they are victims of domestic violence, because mm. most of us, when we are victims of domestic violence, we blame ourselves. Surely that's going to apply even more so to a male victim. A male victim's going to even be even more ashamed because to actually admit that. Is. So I, mean, I think there's, there's no good reason being I, given here I as to like why to this register should not also <laughs> cover male victims. I'd like to just come back to the male victims. Well, wait, 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 let's hear from Pat. Then, because then I promise the let's lady look behind. at the body count. We've got a woman killed every three days. That's 112 women a year are murdered by partners and former partners. The last Home Office figures I got were 22 men a year. That's There's not a hell of a too, too many. big gap. That is not a reason. Nobody's saying hmm. don't do it for... The, for what, what we're saying is, why exclude female perpetrators? Why? why? OK, Can lady here, what would you like to say? Could I come in? Um, I think domestic violence is unacceptable, whatever the sex of the perpetrator or the victim. Yeah, yeah. Also, I would take issue with you, Christina, because actually verbal abuse is also domestic violence. I it it destroys... The, the person who's being put down, whether that's the man or the woman, it destroys them. Archibald, do you think there's a too, too broad a definition here? Of domestic I, think, I, I think the de domestic violence that has been de defined by Christina includes both verbal and physical abuse, as well as economic, of course. We should condemn it at, in outright, we should ban such behaviour, but to create a register does open up a huge room for abuse, more and injustice. Any law that contains injustice can't be a good law. I would support a programme that would help the lady over there that was talking about, counselling programme, programme that will change the culture. I would like to see a culture change starting from the outset, from the families. Children who have been abused, they end up being abusers themselves. We need to cut that cycle of abuse. What as soon sort as of possible. people might be included on this register or who, who un unjustly? 